There have been reports for years now, including during the Trump presidency, about Donald Trump's indebtedness and how that is a vulnerability or could be a vulnerability for national security. But with the legal judgments against him now, half a billion dollars, that risk has reached a whole new level. What is your assessment of that current and possibly future risk? Well, good, good evening, Lawrence. It's great to be with you again. Um, when you look at Donald Trump's indebtedness um, and the real prospect that he may not be able to raise through normal uh, banking channels some $500 million or more that he owes, you have to wonder where he's going to get that money from if he is able to get it. And in the event uh, that uh, he has to uh, take that money from an individual or an entity, uh, whether domestic or international, um, that individual or entity is potentially going to have uh, real influence over him. And so th that is of concern when, in particular, when you add it to the reality that we know that, you know, he has a long history of uh, foreign financial entanglements uh, and he's accepted money from the Chinese Communist Party to his properties. He's uh, in partnership and invested with the, the Saudi uh, sovereign wealth fund. There's just so many ways in which uh, the whole stench of uh, money from dubious places infuses his uh, business enterprise. And so this would add more uh, more questions uh, should that uh, be the case going forward. Let's listen to uh, John Bolton, who served as Donald Trump's national security advisor, what he says about this. He is consumed by these troubles. His family is consumed by them. And I think foreigners will try to take advantage of it one way or another. They, they may be doing it already. And Ambassador Rice, he's been there. He's seen it up close. He absolutely has. And, and I think the bigger point here, Lawrence, is that Donald Trump's uh, former vice president, uh, two of his defense secretaries, two of his national security advisors, the secretary of state, a U.N. ambassador, all of whom have worked up close and personally with him, have judged him to be unfit uh, and don't think he should serve again as president of the United States. And they know better than you or I could begin to know uh, just how dangerous Donald Trump is for our national security. The big picture is even beyond the foreign financial entanglements. This is a man who has said repeatedly that he would not stand by our NATO allies, that he encouraged Putin to, to have his way uh, with our European partners and, and would break up, uh, he claims, and as Bolton validates, the most important alliance in American history, which would leave us and our allies extremely vulnerable. He uh, continues to praise dictators from Putin to Kim Jong-un, uh, and it's, it's exceedingly dangerous to have somebody potentially uh, try to return to the Oval Office who has already done such damage to our national interests and is promising to do far more. And this issue intersects with another known uh, Trump issue, and that is the mishandling of classified information, including disseminating it uh, in the Oval Office. He actually revealed classified information uh, to uh, the, the Russian foreign minister. Uh, and then out of office, we know uh, that he revealed uh, classified information about nuclear submarine fleet to an Australian billionaire. Uh, there's no information about any exchange of money from the Australian billionaire to Donald Trump. But uh, as the as the both of these issues are present at the same time in the same person, there seems to be a, a possible intersection of both of those risks. Yeah, and not to mention he's been indicted, of course, for gross mishandling of, of classified documents and trying to obstruct and cover that up. Um, the, the, the real problem and, and pattern here uh, is that uh, we have somebody who clearly doesn't put the interests of the United States ahead of his own personal interests. That's the fundamental problem. And when that is the case, uh, the United States is deeply vulnerable uh, to manipulation and exploitation by our adversaries, with whom he seems to be most comfortable. Uh, so this is really uh, something that, that people need to uh, be mindful of. Um, he is telling us exactly uh, what he intends to do. 
uh, and what he intends to do is absolutely antithetical to the national security interests of the United States and, and fundamentally dangerous. Ambassador Susan Rice, thank you very much for sharing your experience and expertise with us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Lawrence. Good to be with you.